Okay, we're going into the next video, but that's okay. I'm going to join <laughs> the two videos because I think we need to get this in here. So it's just starting itself over again. So I'm going to have to um, incorporate them together when I edit. So there I put this uh, handle, this uh, drawer handle that I had in my stash on the top so that you could lift it up and hang it. And then I took my Mod Podge and I cut it out all the way and it's all vintage back there. And this is the the three inches of the glass that's pushed in. Right there. Coming around. And there's the feet on the back. And this beautiful um, double inch binding it looks really pretty in real life so you can see that if you take it down that it has a beautiful backing it is going to look it looks nice I also put the moss if you can see here the moss is all on the bottom of the gate on the back I wanted it to look just as pretty from the back as it did the front so I'm going to turn it around again and I grabbed this paper to set it let's go like this Grab this, hopefully, there. You can see that, I'll turn the light on. I don't have that paper behind there, but it'll give you some idea. Let me slide this back there. I'll do it like that for now. That way you can just see the front again and there you have it I can't do a video without the phone ringing that's a for sure so I hope you really enjoy this I hope I was able to somehow I'm going to turn him maybe if I put it like this let me put it down and I'll try taking the video with the camera no it's not as effective it's the lighting in here there we have it you can see her swinging it's so cute like see how she just swings there <laughs> I just love it so I have I'm gonna give you an overall view it's not going to uh, go on and on I just wanted you to see how nice it turned out and I'll have to take pictures in the dark with this, uh, see how it's kind of fluttering there behind the umbrella. And I loved coloring her in. I did her in the dark tones so that it would stand out on this piece. And if I kind of just sit down where you can see it on a level, let me pull it up. There, that's nice. See how you can see the light? shining through there. They're all handmade flowers. Then I put the beacon glue on there. I think that vertigo paper is just awesome as well as using the perfect pearls and the stickles. And then I cut out leaves and colored them in as well behind the stickles. There you go. And you can see her real eyelashes. <laughs> so cute. And I did, uh, I did the silver um, those are silver, um, they're just sticky round circles that I put on her, on her dress down there in between the roses that I sprayed with my Copic, uh, their, um, silk, no, their paper roses. And then I used my, uh, Copic markers and my, uh, and sprayed them. To match the dress and then I put the acrylic black on her shoes to look like patent leather and the stickles for the bow and I'm just gonna come down there there is the there's the feet in the back I should come over and actually I'll zoom it back and let me get back here because these feet are so nice and remember, it's tw uh, 
18 by 22. Oh, I'm tripping over cord here, so let me sit down and I'll just zoom in on everything on this video. So I'll, I'll do a, I'm going to try and get it to exactly how big that is. Now I'll zoom in on some things. There's the bling. And that is that, uh, I put 2000, let me see, 15 uh, under there. I don't think you can see it from here. I'd have to get, it's pointing down actually from the butterfly. And it says 2015 and then that balsam wood rose. And then I made some lace flowers to match the lace that is behind right there. See that lace there? And you can see that shining, that light just shining off of there on the close-up of her. Look at her, isn't she sweet? And her eyes are done three times to get a 3D look with the acrylic black. And I'll leave it in the description box that I went over on all of that. Let me do a close-up of our little girl. And I made sure she had lace around her. And that's a, just a block that I painted with white paint. And her shoes are done in black acrylic move up and you can see the papers and I left that raw that balsam would just raw like that and used my distress inks there and did the corners like this and there she is on the swing and there's the little bird sitting on top of the rake and you can see the um, behind the butterfly there where I use the cheesecloth coming up. And I have another butterfly there on the little pieces of wood. And there's my flourishes and the gates are embossed. And let me just zoom out a bit. It's kind of, oh, I want to get that little boy in there. Isn't he sweet behind the sticks? And he is raised up on top of that piece of wood and to look like he's going to go onto the bike and it's actually you're seeing the where you see that's not sticks on his face I'm looking at it there it's just the shadow because the sun is coming in the window um, let me just come across this way see how the light is getting into it there but uh, there's just salt yeah it's getting some um, there he is there. I'm going to pull back. There we go. And then these leaves with the fan. I'm really, really happy with it, the way it turned out. And I hope you enjoy it too. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment. And I will certainly answer every one of them. And the reason I put April showers up there is my April project. So... I wanted to incorporate that as well. So for one last look, I am going to turn it around like this and show you the back. That way you get to see the legs on it as well. Let me come down there on the corners. Isn't that awesome? And then the 3D scenery is in there, except you can see the doily. But that, this is just the back, the back of it. So thank you so much for joining me. Let me turn it around. I'll put some pictures in there. Thank you for the pleasure of doing this project. I really enjoyed it. Look at her swinging there. And I think it'll be... The, see the light just flashing on those diamonds coming down from the April? There you have it, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'm going to go put this video up so you can see this project and have yourself a real blessed day.